to welcome you all to this workshop on intellectual property right we are living in a world of technologies and it has become the need for us to update us with the developing world new gen iedc an organization established by government of india and the department of science and technology with the core objective of encouraging the innovative mind for the betterment of the society provides an excellent platform for innovative minds to exhibit their ideas promote it and contribute to our society our institution has been part of this new gen iedc and our students came up with many projects over the years intellectual property rights are the rights given to the person over the creation of their creative minds they usually give the creator an exclusive right over the use of his or her idea or creation for a certain period of time in order to obtain a brief knowledge about ipr our tai mugambe dental college and hospital in association with akc has organized this program to kindle the interest among the students and provide the guidance for faculties and students about the intellectual property rights let me now take this opportunity to introduce the speaker of the day dr arun kumar sir he is an entrepreneur educator trained by national entrepreneurship network he is also an alumnus of an institution who holds a phd in biotechnology working presently with 12 years of teaching experience and an institution innovation ambassador by mhrd he has numerous achievements to his credits he is also a basic and master class trainer entrepreneurship trained by ipr office and wipro services for patent filing over the years he has suggested and guided various students on this patent and how the filing of the patents may i now welcome dr arun kumar sir our alumni to share his ideas among the staffs and students over to you sir um a very good morning sir uh, thank you for a nice introduction dr kithi sir and um, uh, we have seen like how much you've been involved in uh, <coughs> uh, activities associated with innovation and entrepreneurship and uh, first of all uh, i thank our uh, uh, institution uh, for uh, giving me this opportunity to uh, talk about uh, the ipr and the innovation uh, and entrepreneurship and i thank our uh, director arundhi ma'am dr rama vidyanathan who really give us uh, ultimate freedom to just uh, disseminate the knowledge that whatever we gathered from either mhrd aicts programs and other thing okay uh, let me share my screen so that uh is it visible sir yes sir yeah okay so uh, uh today's session uh, we'll just uh, think about like um uh, ipr is in general it is like you know uh, up, up, across the all the faculty streams and across all the disciplines everybody has to know about like what is uh, intellectual property rights what is the forms of patent and uh, how can we file a patent and uh, what are all the procedures to follow once you start file your patent once you start start filing your ideas that everybody has to know but uh, from a dentist point of view like what uh, what you have to know like uh, our uh, today's session is limited to that but in general like everyone can able to you know uh, get a, a lot of inputs from uh, this session uh, so let me go to the topic like see uh, this is the thing you have to know uh, in the uh, like very beginning like you know uh, where the office is been situated like because uh, the physical office is also important because everything is now in online session you can file an international patent within one year if you uh, sorry within one hour you can file an international pct patent patent cooperative treaty if you have the proper complete specification of your patent you can do it in online Uh, with the you know fee payment and all the details you can upload it you can do it uh, but you have to know like where where the office is been there like okay uh, head office of patent is in uh, kolkata and we have branch office in delhi chennai and mumbai and out of which like we have uh, specifically gi registry is in um, geographic indication that is in chennai and the design office is in kolkata tm registry office again uh, we have uh, mumbai as a head office the uh, trademark okay we have different forms of patent so you have to understand like where the offices is, is been situated but still and really like all the information is available in online we can go through it and we can identify first we have to understand when it comes to international protection where 
uh, you know how it has been protected what is the umbrella organization which organize everything that is called vipo so usually in every competitive exams this uh, question has been asked mostly about vipo world intellectual property organization it's a specialized organization of united nations and we have a lot of member states signed in this uh, vipo so that uh, uh, whatever the member num member states signed in the vipo and it it complies with the treaties which has been organized by the vipo all the treaties so that all forms of patent is been protected so usually it's an uh, you know um, a, a dedicated organization which works on uh, international uh, intellectual property system uh, which rewards the creativity and uh, stimulates the innovation which contributes the economic development okay so vipo was first established in uh, vipo convention in 1967 but i uh, don't think that like uh, the patent uh, you know journey or patent uh, head organization started only in 1900s uh, because there are treaties which is now followed by the vipo uh, is been is been uh, passed and is been um, you know uh, uh, organized in 1800s itself so the treaties were adapted by vipo okay so uh, vipo is an organization the headquarters is in geneva and a brief history about vipo is the first thing which is formed is paris union and it has been formed and in 1883 that rightfully i said no before uh, before the vipo in 1883 they formed a, a treaty which is called the paris uh, convention uh, where it has been protected uh, the paris convention is protecting the industrial designs and then we have again bernie union in 1886 for the you know uh, protection of uh, artistic works and other thing and international they combined this paris and bernie and then they formed a new international bureau in 1893 and what happened is funny thing right the they combined both the treaties and they formed an international bureau and the international bureau fails for the protection so what happened even though in 1893 the international bureau fails but these two treaties is is been successful very successful okay and paris and in bernie so what happened then they want to give a perfect shape for this uh, both the uh, treaties both the protection of uh, industrial design and then uh, these artistic works so that they started a vipo convention world intellectual property convention in 1967 and in it has been converted as an un specialized agency in 1972 so that it became more and more stronger in um, uh, right now it is have uh, more than uh, two, uh, 190 plus uh, countries uh, member states signed in it mainly world intellectual property income has been generated through the international filing okay international pct filing pct is patent cooperative treaty basically when you file a patent there are two types like you know where you go for either national you go for either national patent or go for pct patent patent cooperative treaty so so th these are the other treaties that also fund income comes from uh, uh, madrid and hague agreement each and every treaties protect a specific uh, you know terms so let me go to the basic like you know what is a patentable subject Uh, matter like what are the basics they will check when you want when you want to file your patent so the first thing is uh, it it should relate a either a process or a product or both it can be okay it can be a fusion of product and process or it can be a product alone and the dimensions of the project or uh, product or anything or it can be a process alone or it can be a both and the next one it, it should be novel it should be novel the novelty is a main uh, criteria they will be looking of in the examination of your patent so it should be novel and it should at least have an involved an inventive step in it an, an inventive step okay and then it should be capable of an industrial application see sometime if you have novelty and you have inventive step and if you don't have uh, industrial application you don't have a utility that does not come in so novelty utility and inventive step these are the three main criteria you have to look for and your invention should not fall in section 3 and 4 let me explain at the end a second half of the slide about non patentable invention what you should not do like you know uh, those things i'll i'll explain in uh, the second part okay but the three things you have to keep in mind when you want to patent is novelty utility and inventive step 
So what are the basic treaties which comes in uh, WIPO and our WIPO uh, organization, World Intellectual Property Organizations or Paris Convention, I said, Bernie Convention. Paris Convention is purely, uh, it's, a, it's a kind of uh, complete package where it protects on industrial designs. So industrial patterns, uh, marks, uh, industrial design, utility models, trade names, all these things which comes in related to industrial design. So it's an excellent treaty which uh, which uh, which protects the industrial designs. And Bernie Convention, industrial design is from anything, from safety pin to fermenter is an industrial design. So Bernie Convention, it's a protection of uh, literary and artistic works. Okay, and the Madrid Agreement is an international registration of marks. Like you know, uh, when it comes to like McDonald's or some kind of brand image. Okay, when they want to uh, protect their uh, particular registration of marks in uh, you know internationally then they can go for this agreement and Hague agreement is international registration of industrial designs okay that comes in uh, another thing but where see uh, these are the years where it came into force and then uh, patent cooperative treaty it's an international uh, application it came into force in uh, 2002 and Budapest treaty is again uh, an international recognition of depository of microorganisms I think there is, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make clear like, you know, you can't able to um, patent microorganisms, but you can deposit microorganisms. For example, if you, if you just isolate a microorganism from a different area where it has this property of, uh, you know, degrading something or uh, biosynthesis of something so that you can able to, you are, you can able to deposit that particular microorganism in uh, that is a, as a microbial culture collection, you can do it. That comes in Budapest Treaty. So these are the stages usually which undergoes filing of a patent where you can uh, do, do two things. One is a provisional specification, complete specification. If you are in an, in an uh, initial stage of the project, you don't have the complete specification of your product or a process, then what you, you can do is you can file a provisional patent and you will have 12 months time. Within that, you can file the complete specification because when it comes to patent, first come, first so is like, you know, like uh, we go rush for the, you know, food in case of when we go to marriage, like that only. But you have to be, uh, you know, your idea is novel and you think like it has an utility, then you can go for a provisional specification filing because uh, the time period when you file your patent is really important. Okay. It started from the, the day of filing. And then uh, we have second stage which is called uh, publication of the application they, uh, usually it will take uh, you know 18 uh, uh, months but if you if you ha have in like you know um, uh, very uh, urgent to file a patent and you have to you are rushing to commercialization then you can go for an early publication request okay that is there and then request for the examination within uh, 48 uh, months from the filing date and you can you have to give request and then after that after examination they will be uh, releasing the first examination report which is called fer fer okay then you have to give explanation for any queries raised in the first examination report then uh, the grant of the patent then we will be the uh, after the grant of the patent it will be published in the journal the entire complete specification will be published in the journal then uh, within uh, 12 months, there will be a period which they will give, uh, you know, for uh, opposition, anybody to oppose, like an infringement or anything. So then it's a decision of the controller to go to the next day. So this is the usual process. So, so now you have to understand from a uh, uh, dentist point of view, like, you know, uh, what is a design and what is a good design. So basically it comes like it's a normal CPU and it's a, you know, uh, Apple's uh, uh, a basic CPU and what is a what is the kind of design and how it it can be improved or improvised that can be done so this is an one example I'm giving for you know, uh, you know for uh, a 3d printing of uh, uh, dental uh, related uh, you know all the uh, T's and other thing like whatever you can you can able to 3d print it with a 3d printer and it's it's also an industrial design it, it can be patented uh, but uh, remember, if a 3D printer is even already patented, then you can't able to patent it again. But you can able to patent the new kind of uh, dispensing uh, unit, okay, which 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 is peculiar for your filament or something. The individual part of it, you can able to patent it. 
and what is copyright copyright is a compulsory license okay uh, a government affords or holder of a patent a copyright or another exclusive right for grant uh, used by the state usually holder can receive the royalties see remember when you just file a particular copyright uh, you have two things one is a compulsory license if you if you present it somewhere to the public forum or you have a youtube channel you are you are uh, giving a uh, lecture or you you do certain things where you you not patented it but still it comes under copyright protection once you go for a public it has been patented in case of copyright i'm talking about but no protection will be there but still, but but once you file a copyright like artistic works or a books that you are uh, writing like you know yeah dental laboratory practices dental laboratory procedures you write a book and everything is comes in copyright protection nobody can able to imitate it okay so that's the uh, ultimate thing for about copyright copyright is valid uh, compared to any other forms of patent we have 20 years of protection and we have renewal of patent in uh, in in case of industrial design and other thing but in case of copyright till the death of the author the protection remains as such okay so that's the beauty of copyright but the thing is you have to understand one thing here uh, many dentists they will do they will do like you know they they uh, uh, you you start your own uh, independent consult uh, consultant as a consultant and develop the website and perform marketing services to the brand to the dental offices so when you start your own web service when you start your you know own web page and you you design the logo with the help of some marketing services one thing you have to keep in mind that whatever the advertising agency that you go okay uh, and you should be definitely sign a work made for hire agreement this is very particular because you have some uh, web page and uh, your uh, clinic has been very well established and the web page is uh, so many traffic was there and uh, you about among users and everybody is logging to the website to get the information and then later the logo and the website uh, you know it belongs to the marketing services you always has to remember this it belongs to the marketing services because see, they are the creators until and then you sign the work made for hire agreement they are the rightful owners of it if you design a logo and it has been registered in that website you can't even file a trademark on your logo so remember when you create a web page with the help of uh, you know some marketing services a company or firms then you have to definitely made this agreement so that only you can everything can be comes for under your protection because this uh, particular um, uh, selfie has been taken by a monkey okay and it, it's been a constant dispute till now it's going on uh, whether monkey or david slater so and each and every time the judgment comes and one will appeal again peta is an organization which appeals for this monkey so what happened a camera um of a photographer um the monkey takes the camera and david slater is claiming that he is the one to uh, you know um he is the one rightful for this uh, particular photograph but the, but the truth behind is the monkey took the selfie so monkey is the real owner for this photograph so that's the strength of copyright protection so make sure that whatever the web page that you create okay if you create it's no problem at all and if some of the marketing services create for your on behalf of your dental office then definitely make this agreement work made for higher agreement then trademarks you you all know that like this is an automobile uh, thing like if you go to next yeah so all these things okay um the the font they use and then the word they use and then uh, for example somanis Uh, orthodontic and dental cleaner dental uh, uh, gentle dental and then uh, prime dental uh, food private limited see all these things it in the corner uh, uh, right hand side corner top we have uh, tm that is trademark registered okay nobody should imitate the same word and then exact word and then um, the font and then the color they used specifically nobody because in uh, some of the ad they will this remove the word and then they will uh, show the 
uh, other thing but that is also not uh, you know advisable so trademarks the font and the color the design nobody should should imitate if you once you file and once you got the trademark that's the power of trademark so trade secret another thing is trade secret like you know um, you have to understand one thing uh, when it comes to trade secret everybody will think like you know coca cola is one of the best trade secret i do agree that coca cola is one of the best trade secret even though it is not applied they didn't apply for trade secret it has been maintained as a trade secret that's the beauty of it so commercially valuable but it is a secret it should be a secret and uh, uh, be known only to the limited group of persons including the examiners and uh, be the subject to reasonable steps taken for the rightful holder and the information is kept secret remember uh, when it comes to trade secret everybody will think what well, only coca cola is uh, the uh, best trade secret yes we do agree but still everything uh, like for example you are you are uh, doing a project and you are uh, maintaining an uh, uh, lab notebook okay on it uh, like for example the project workbook okay and every day you are writing the uh, result and inference or whatever you are doing and even it comes in trade secret so remember uh um, uh the the documentation is important the importance of trade secret is you have to understand how important a laboratory workbook is so it comes in trade secret so um when you apply for it and then it, if it have commercial valuable that's what i'm telling like not mere noting down or documentation i'm talking about but still when you do some project which is related to commercially uh, valuable and one more thing you have to uh, make sure in, in case of trade secret what is that in the sense it is our partial responsible to protect that trade secret once you file the trade secret and once i am also revealing no no this is a formula for uh, uh, my uh, particular trade secret then it is not a trade secret at all once the secret is revealed it's not a secret so uh, it's our partial responsible uh, that we have to file a trade secret get a trade secret and gi it is geographic indication we have if, um, uh, you all aware of it like you know uh, a particular place and particular process or a particular product okay it should be related to that either uh, you know all types of mango alfonso mangoes uh, malabar coffees assam teas basmati rice all these things darjeeling tea shrimp paste okay and varanasi silk yeah uh, tanjavur veena is also comes in uh, gi tag i think mostly uh, um, in geographic indication if any dental practices is there in a particular particular uh, country or particular place which has been famous that also might be comes in gi who knows okay so it might be anything either the process or the product that you have to find out so you can ask one more thing like where i can able to find these details Uh, so one umbrella organization i told no bipo world intellectual property organization you can log into that and you can go through a lot of infringement cases what is patent infringement cases and how it is there a lot of case studies are there based on uh, your uh, faculty and streams a lot of things you can go through and then surf every day and find out a lot of uh, results out of it so so in uh, next thing you have what you have to know about is prior art prior art is a kind of you know search when i am having an uh, like you have a feel like uh, eureka i identified something but at the end what will happen no you just when you surf about the patent uh, your idea might not be a novel at all there might be a lot of other similar kind of invention which is already under that okay so what you have to do is prior art search is important either first you do and then give it to a patent attorney patent attorney is an expert in searching the prior art but when you file a patent you just try first okay as a as a inventor you have to try first and then you just give it to a patent attorney so how we can search is these are the options we have we have uh, google patents uh, uh, which is a search engine and uh, we have patent scope we have uh, country wise search like for example in india we have uh, ip india services gov.in where you can able to search and one thing you have to look for is keywords claims and what is the title they have given and which country what is the state of the patent really important all these things you have to go through let me check uh, go to an uh, virtual two for you
Yeah. Uh, I'm just giving the abstract dental. Just let me check it. Okay. Uh, see, this is the IP India services, which is the Indian Patent Advanced Search System. In short, it is named as INPASS. So, what you have to do is just I'm just clicking dental, and then you have to write the captcha code five three. You then search. Sorry. One four five three U search. See, uh, look, and just I just gave a uh, short word dental. Remember how precisely you choose your keyword. Dental is a, like a very broad term, so that you can get all the details. Uh, for example, for, uh, initially I want to search what is the uh, availability of uh, dental patterns that I have to go go through. Now, then you can give such a broad uh, word, and you want to narrow down. You can come to the process. Then you will get the specific thing. Like totally about uh, 720 documents were there in Indian patent alone. Remember, this in pass is the Indian patent system. Like if you go to here and then in Google patent and you just type it as dental, just check out. Yeah. See, uh, when you search in Google patent, you got about 95,000 results, 95,000 patents which has been filed and application has been published rightfully i said no filing application application published then request for examination examination will happen and then grant of the patent for first examination report then if any queries are there then uh, another if you rectify the query whether it is grant or rejected that that will be up to examiner so here when i am giving dental then i am getting 95000 result for example you, you go and then whatever specific like you want to give uh, you want to know about the patent dental cements then look look at it about uh, you know we have uh, cumulative search about like two lakhs thirteen thousand uh, is there for example like you know uh, what you can do is like dental cement instead like eugenol okay. uh, dental cement when you want to search about uh, you know the particular term uh, like a type of uh, cement or something like that uh, it will be keep on decreasing okay so when you search about a dental cement it will it will show different results and when you uh, specifically search on a particular uh, thing like even you can uh, search for uh, uh, this uh, polyhydroxylate so for every search we will be it will be reduced so remember initially when you want to search about pattern go broad spectrum and then search about everything so something like you know you will get an idea like uh, how they are doing it or something like that like for example it is common term i am just typing uh, dental cement see uh, 2 lakhs 13000 result and out of which like i am just clicking self ad adhesive this is a pattern that file self uh, adhesive dental cement it's a japanese other language inventor name is in Japanese. Uh, see, see, just check it out when they filed it, when it has been publication, then application granted, then publication of it, and the status it is active. Uh, it is going to expire in 2028. All the top to the bottom, they will be giving the uh, you know from when it has been filed to when it is going to expire in case like uh, the patent has been granted. So all the details will be listed here. When you want to search, like for example, I'm just giving it as a similar pattern. What are the other similar pattern related to it? Okay, everything will be listed here again. So remember, uh, the search and the keyword is really important. And you can have other search, like you know, advanced search. You can restrict yourself, like uh, when, when, or uh, preferred language or any specific country. Like for example, if you click here all the patent offices will be there here in india it's in 
okay all the patent offices will be listed here so that's the beauty of google patent and there is official uh, patent search also that that is called one more is called patent uh, scope which has been maintained by uh, wipo world intellectual property organization that is also you can you can do the search and then uh, let me go to the slide Mm, yeah so uh, see one thing you have to uh, understand from this picture you uh, do you think like you know this cycle has been protected well no even though it is chain it can be easily uh, it, it can go theft right uh, so writing a patent and you drafted very neatly you you did a beautiful drawing and then uh, you drafted it well the complete specification is done well and the claim if you not done well then then it's it it will be like this only because claim is an important part you will get additional papers for it like for an examination so uh, and each additional paper you have to pay so uh, 10 claims that you are writing in the paper what you have to do is you should be very specific that uh, this product is being used for what like for example this mouse i am just patenting it and in the claim i have to write down what is the specific use for this mouse i'm just writing for the pen if you if you're uh, getting the patent for the pen then in the claim you have to be very specific that each and every claim is should be important you can what is the purpose that you use uh, this particular pen uh, you can write you can draw or whatever you whatever you can do with the help of this pen you can write it down in the claim so that uh some other person will write whatever you left in the claim some other person can able to catch up that and they can get the separate pattern so claim is a very important when you draft your pattern now we, uh in the first half of the slide we we have uh, gone through like you know what 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 a dentist have had to know and now what not to do like you know before uh uh before you file a patent before you, you file a patent you have to know like certain things it comes in non patentable invention as i in the beginning of the slide i told you right uh, there are uh, uh, certain uh, things like you know which comes in section 3 and 4 where it comes under non patentable inventions what are those first one so an invention which is frivolous or uh, claims anything obviously contrary to well established natural law natural law is something right something in the sense like uh, uh, if you have a machine which gives you 100% performance then uh, it's a kind of perpetual machine like uh, an example i am talking about which is against to natural law some energy loss should be there so in that case that is not patentable even we can say any any invention directly any invention related to energy okay it is not patentable generating energy or something like that okay it's not patentable section 3b an invention primary or intended use which is contrary to the law or morality of injurious to public health so remember any kind of invention which is you know contrary to the law or morality which is injurious to public for example uh, what we can say uh, a nude mouse like you know where uh, you can able to alter the gene or uh, which, which which can able to Uh, trigger the cancer then that that is thing is not patentable because it is in, it is against to the contrary to the law and morality okay but in case they are doing it because to test whatever the uh, uh, what what will be the like immunosuppressive drugs and other thing they used to check with the help with the help of that mice mice so in that case uh, uh, anything contrary to the morality and law it is and public health is not patentable in 3b in 3c a mere discovery of a scientific principles and formulations of an abstract like you know uh, discovery of a microorganism discovery is not patentable like for example you are walking and you find a new metal in the earth it is not patentable a mere discovery is not patentable inventions is patentable discoveries are not patentable you are how to remember this and section 3 d 
what is that a mere discovery of any new property of new use of known substances is not patentable like for example now uh, we have uh, um, uh, aspirin tablet or you know if paracetamol is there for uh, fever if you identify a paracetamol is also have is been used as a it is assumption okay don't think that paracetamol is used to treat a particular disease okay then it is not patentable even though you did a research on it you identified on it uh, a new property of old invention is not patentable okay but yeah another example is a mere new uses of neem any kind of natural product you identified that this can be treated for uh, a new uh, disease or something like that it is not patentable and section 3e a substance obtained by a mere admixture okay resulting in aggregation of new properties like for example uh, paracetamol and brufen okay paracetamol is another invention and brufen is another invention like you combine both and then you have a new drug it is not patentable and uh, sugar and color additives like you you mix something new and you got a product like it can be a product or a process or anything like you already known uh, patents you just mix it and then it is not patentable mere admixture you can tell anything like like you know when you have eraser which is patented pencil which is patented and you combine both that is not pat allowed okay and a mere arrangement and rearrangement of duplication of known devices like you know yeah this is also always done right a bucket fitted with torch an umbrella with a fan like, like day by day a lot of innovations will come but still it's the same uh, what we can say like like a mere arrangement and rearrangement everybody will agree with me right all these inventions again i'm just combining and then i'm making the new new inventions what is the innovation in it nothing maybe it has a part of utility but novelty is not there so it, it comes in uh, non patentable inventions a mere arrangement or rearrangement if you do and remember one thing so so you can ask me one thing like you know nowadays it is available right uh, maybe the torch and the uh, and the bat is there a mosquito bat and it's a it's a maze uh, again a mirror uh, a mere arrangement and rearrangement but that particular property is not patentable but you can sell it or you can do it anything okay you can commercialize it no restrictions is there but still when you commercialize it then you can't able to protect it anybody can do that okay any companies can able to replicate the same thing second 3h a method of agriculture and horticulture is not patentable okay uh, and uh, cultivation of algae and uh, a new method to grow a particular plant and the preparation of improved soil uh, all this agriculture uh, equipments can be patentable remember but a method a particular method of agriculture is not patentable uh, that's an open competition so that you will be keep on improving that's a good thing that uh, section 3h is there because once you keep on uh, file a patent on section 3h and you got all the uh, patents related to agriculture then uh, nobody can able to do the improvement in the agriculture so they have made this and section 3i uh, any process for medical device surgical curative this is important for you as a dentist you have to know like you know all the diagnostic therapeutic treatment for human beings and all these things it is not patentable at all so when you want to file a patent on um, okay removing a device for dental caries or something like that it is not patentable it's a kind of uh, you know curative or uh, therapeutic property right therapeutic treatment so it is not patentable so what you have to do is like you can you can uh, um do a device uh, in other aspects okay uh, apart from this because this is a kind of thing where it, it will go to the monopoly to a particular person that that's not recommended removal of cancer tumor and removal of dental plaque caries surgical process equipments okay and process it's not patentable and then uh, uh, we have plants and animals in whole or any part uh, like it is not patentable at all okay so um what what we can do uh, like you know um remember the process and uh, if you identify the particular uh, uh, 
you know active ingredient that that can all you can able to patent it but the whole part whole plant and the part of uh, plant is not patentable and microorganisms including seed varieties is not patentable so all these things are in 3j it is non patentable 3k a mathematical uh, or a business uh, method of uh, computer program and algorithm is not patentable at all section l literary and dramatic musical or article work of any other uh, aesthetic creation is not patentable at all and uh, these subject matters fall under copyright protection so l alone we are not completely they are not telling that it is non patentable but still it comes separately as as a, a copyright because all the other forms of patents are quite similar but copyright alone is uh, quite distinct from the other forms of patent so it comes under copyright section 3m a mere scheme or rule or a method of performing mental act or a method of playing game is not patentable so method of solving a crossword puzzle method of learning a language these things is not patentable at all section n a uh, presentation of an information spoken words symbols diagrams whatever i am doing right now uh, see whatever i am i'm i'm just i'm just uh, explaining you okay these things are not patentable but my slide can be patentable but whatever the information that i am just putting or even i have to uh, you know acknowledge them that i have to uh, you know got the information from this particular resources uh. section p an invention which in effect is traditional knowledge okay or which aggregation duplication of the process remember traditional knowledge is always protected whatever you do related to traditional knowledge nothing will uh, uh, you can't able to file a patent okay example turmeric we got turmeric has a medicinal property or some of the plant has a medicinal property the uh, some particular tribal people they are using it for uh, this particular insect bite okay uh, which is having an uh, anti um a uh, venom property or whatever it is like which when it comes to traditional knowledge you can't able to patent it okay so that you have to be very clear and section 4 inventions related to atomic energy non patentable remember all the above which i which i have explained is in section 3 sub categories and now section 4 very few is there invention related to atomic energy non patentable for example inventions any invention related to uranium all this uh, you know radiated compounds so anything is not patentable at all now uh, we are come to the end of the session so uh, as a dentist like why you have to know about this patent basically uh, we have a small uh, you know um, um, thing like from the from our part of the institution to part of you to part of the world you have to understand why you have to know about patent because aria ranking atal ranking for institutions related to innovation achievements what they asking for is patents how many student patents have been filed how many student patents is published how many student patent is granted how many faculty patent is published how many faculty uh, patent has been uh, granted so this is how many collaborative patents are there with uh, faculty and students so all these things are really important for an institution achievements for that only they are asking for so you you should as a dentist you should aware of what is patent and why not we have to do right now okay like that that kind of attitude you should have then second one is uh, global innovation index um in last class i i showed you about global innovation index what is india's ranking and what is china's ranking and how far we have to Uh, be very good at uh, catching them because of uh, filing a patent on a product or a process that is really important in case of uh, increasing our ranking in uh, global innovation index and every time mhrd and uh, aact has been uh, forcing all the institutions to do uh, good in patent for that's why because we have to in increase our india's ranking in gii global innovation index luckily we are in top 50s right now so then is we got uh, we got like inventors protection that that's your your part okay as an inventor your uh, invention will be protected even um, the dental uh, group new gen idc group the bias group they have been they filed the patent for it
okay so inventor protection is important and financial stability like for example when you want to uh, go for a, a second level of funding or angel investor venture capital funding when you present somewhere when you present your idea how you can increase the weightage of your idea because like you have to say that uh, my idea i filed a patent so that they will have some belief in you that your idea is having some weightage on novelty utility and inventive stuff then uh, documentation so documentation is really important um, uh, in case of like you know document like why why you uh, you are doing it like how to document it when you read a complete specification what is their written and when they read when you read about claims when they when you read about uh, uh, background of the invention so all this documentation you have to go through and then learn it's not a single one day process like you will be very good in expert in patent drafting it is not possible at all it's not possible for us also but why, why you, what you have to do is you have to keep on go through all the patents and then find out how they have documented it how they wrote the claim what is the weakness in the claim what is the strength in the claim so all these things once you keep on go through and at the end you know you will become uh, expert in it and again i am just giving this slide uh, those who are not registered uh, for the e cell you can register uh, through this above link and the poster and uh, one thing is very clear that uh, i think um, for the dental idea team uh, um, very few response came i think so like so we need more responses so remember uh, get your ideas funded by the newgen iedc we got two slots so make sure that as soon as possible whatever idea you got you try to apply uh, in the newgen iedc okay contact um, uh, our uh, newgen iedc manager faculty manager and faculty coordinator mohammad rizwan sir for the further thing so thank you if in case any doubt uh, it's open for uh, question right now related to patterns or uh, if you have any doubt i think uh, uh arul sir can you stop setting your screen yeah sure at once sorry yeah yes sir that was a very wonderful session sir excellent brief on history repo importance of trademarks we were not aware of various search engines in depth view on infast which we are hearing for the most of the audience are hearing us for the first time and yeah. even the idea on non patentable resources importance yeah. of why we have to do the patent filing as yes. an uh, dentist the role of dentist and various sections even from starting from section 3a to the p and the l and the individual rights as a dentist that we possess as a patent applicant it was a very yes. good and a very wonderful such i hope all the students and faculties who are listening will take your guidance and apply more and more patents in the upcoming years sure sir. thank you thanks a lot yes sir. uh uh at the outset i would like to thank our chairman sir president sir and secretary sir for their continuous support in organizing such events my sincere thanks to dr rama vaidyanathan ma'am speaker sir yourself sir and the coordinator mr rizwan and the akc team for the continuous efforts to making this as a wonderful one and my special thanks to our dean sir principal sir vice principal ma'am and all the heads of the department my fellow colleagues and the students for the continuous participation and making this event a successful one i hope in the upcoming years all the students will apply more and more patterns and make this as a wonderful event Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you.